Howdy folks and welcome back to Chuck and Steel. It's a little warmer out here than it has been. It's like 32 degrees, so I thought I'd get out here and show y'all my newest custom slingshot from Primeport Catapult. Although you have seen it briefly in another video, what little bit of shooting in that video is all I've done with this slingshot. Now this one is called the Bull Bull. It's spelled B-U-L, B-U-L. It's named after a bird. And it's uh, just a gorgeous slingshot. And as always, Andre did phenomenal work. And I have to say that out of all of Andre's designs from his custom line, this is my new favorite. And that's saying a lot because I absolutely love the PFX and the Beagle. But this one, uh, I just, it feels great to me. Now, I will give you the specs on this slingshot, but you need to understand the measurements are probably not going to be the same for you because they are built to your specifications. So, I'll give them to you anyway. Now this one is 130 millimeters tall, 90 millimeter fork width, the fork tips are 23 millimeters, it's just a little over a half inch thick, it has the two dot siding system, it's made from carbon fiber and G10, and this one is designed mainly for the pinch grip, although it does shoot the brace grip really well, and that's how I've been shooting it. it uh, it's just a phenomenal slingshot. Give you another look at it real quick. Now, this is not a ergo slingshot. And when I say ergo slingshot, I mean there's not a whole lot of curves to it. And the forks don't stick out in front of your hand when you're shooting it. It's just a flat slingshot. But saying that, this is a very ergonomic slingshot, but not in the same sense as like an ergo slingshot, such as the Robin Mini, for instance. When you pick up that slingshot and, and, and pick it up and hold it like you're supposed to, it just feels every crevice of your hand. This one is ergonomic in a different way. This one is ergonomic in the way that when you pick it up and hold it like you're supposed to, it only touches your hand where it needs to. And it feels really good doing it that way. It's just a well, well designed slingshot like I said it's my new favorite design so let's give you one more quick look at it before I start shooting it I have three targets in my catch box I have a 50 millimeter on top a 30 millimeter in the middle and a 15 millimeter on the bottom I'm shooting my 3.8 steel ammo that I keep outside it's a little bit rusty but it's good enough for 33 feet and of course it's winter time so I'm shooting 0.5 simple shot play Give it a go. Alright, I can't complain about this slingshot one bit. I absolutely love it. Let's keep on shooting it. I just love the way this slingshot feels. We'll just shoot until I miss. Try to make it tougher on myself and speed up my release. Uh, when I pull up to shoot, uh, we'll get faster each time.
tonight, so I'm not missing yet. So let's go ahead and go to 30, and I'll and I'll go fast. That way, we're not here all day. Yeah, see, I didn't even mean to let that one go, but I missed. So there we go. It's a beautiful slingshot. You can uh, contact Andre by Facebook. Prime Fork Catapult or his Instagram, Prime Fork Catapult. But, uh, let's shoot it a couple more times real quick. Man, I love this slingshot. Just a uh, outstanding slingshot all the way around. Well, folks, if you want to see my channel grow, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell, like, comment, share the videos. Thanks for watching.